once again here in Second Life. This is Russ McClay, Infrared Wind, and we are in episode four. I'd like to, in this episode, we're going to kind of continue looking around at the map and uh, how you can teleport, but also as a newcomer to Second Life, um, when you sign up for Second Life, you you can choose an avatar. You can be anything, but let's keep it simple and just say it's you know m male or female, and then and then you they have tools which I'll show hopefully. Uh, this continues show how that kind of works, and um, then you also uh, need to l learn how how things work. You know how do you walk? Um, how do you use the camera? Um, how do you fly? Um, how do you create things? So in this episode we're going to take a look at two um, places. One is Help Island Public which used to be I mean at one point there you couldn't even get in it. There were so many people. You know, I think they had a limit of 30 to 40 people and there'd be that many and you just had to wait until somebody left before you could go back in there. But of course now and then there was a period where there weren't anybody there. It's, it was like, you know, maybe a couple of years ago, it was quite uh, empty. But now, people are, uh, it's interesting, people are coming back. And we're going to look at that real quickly, and then we're going to look at um, a, a sim that's next door. And a sim, by, means, uh, by the way, means simulator. So uh, a sim, imagine a rack server where you have a, a, a tower and you have slots, and uh, each slot has a computer, a wafer kind of computer, and each one of those runs a sim, and these sims are like a grid on a map. They all work together. So we're going to go to Help Island. Let's let's pull up the map, and to do that, we're going to turn that on, or interface on, and we'll type in here. Uh, first of all, um, I guess we'll look at Orientation Island, because that would be the first thing you would do. And we'll take a look at a couple of the, uh, you know, a few things along the path. So, once again, here's the map. And you can see that red dot is now, uh, it's showing the search result, which I did here, and it's showing it, it's there. Uh, again, the green dots indicate um, that there are people there. And we can see on Ortation Island right now, there is nobody. So now I'm going to click on teleport and we'll go there. And we are now at the main landing spot of Orientation Island. There was a time when this was so crowded. I mean, you could even get a seat in here. It's so funny to see it like this now. Um, there will be people that come here, but it's not the hangout that it once was and has been. So this is um, Orientation Island, and let's look at how this works for a newcomer. And of course, there's not going to be enough time to look at a lot of this, but we'll get some in. Welcome to Orientation Island, this way out. Okay, so we'll just go down this path ways. Changing your appearance. Click me. So I'm not going to go through all of these, but these will show you basic. Well, let's let's try. It's been so long. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> what did it say? <laughs> mute. <laughs> you cannot mute mute an employee of Linden. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, anyhow, this is a tutorial here. How to mute your avatar and you'd have to put this uh, do this attachment to make that work my god we're already up in five minutes how can we do these for five minutes I, I'll continue from here so this is step one we'll uh, discard this notice and let's continue so that that first station there was kind of uh, you know how do you change your appearance which I'll get to in another episode at some point Changing your appearance part two. That's what this is going to be about. Great. Well, that's at five minutes, and, and we're going to stop there, and we'll make the uh, episode five the continuation of this.
Yes, very good.